of uh, <clears throat> exciting announcement to make and uh, a lot of friends uh, across the uh, political spectrum from throughout the state of Ohio here uh, this morning. Uh, we're announcing this morning the launch for the first time anywhere in America of a comprehensive local government transparency website. Uh, this is the first time in the United States and the first time in the state of Ohio uh, where citizens will be able to go online and see the finances of cities, counties, school districts, and local governments throughout their state and frankly throughout their country. Uh, we have with us here today a good mix of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. We have people with us today representing counties, cities, school districts, and other districts throughout the state of Ohio. Uh, about four months ago, I sent a letter to all 18,000 city councilmen, school board members, county commissioners, and other local officials throughout the state of Ohio asking them to partner with me to shine sunlight on spending. I didn't know how my letter would be received. I didn't know if it would be received with rotten tomatoes or uh, hugs and kisses or what. And uh, I, was, I was really uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, we've had uh, here in the first four months or so, uh, over uh, 300 local governments and school districts commit to putting their finances online. We're in discussions with about 400 others. And this morning, we're launching the first wave uh, the tip of the spear, the first 100 local governments here in the state of Ohio who volunteer to put their finances online. A lot of people have asked me why I'm doing this, and uh, in my mind the answer is very simple. The taxpayers of the state of Ohio have a right to know how the tax money is being spent, and what we're trying to do here is empower taxpayers to hold politicians accountable. Empower citizens throughout the state of Ohio to be able to follow the money and hold, the pub and hold the public officials feet to the fire. In this process, there's going to be leaders and there's going to be followers. And the people you see behind me right now and the people you see throughout this room right now are the leaders. Uh, these are men and women who said, we're gonna lead, we're gonna recognize the fact that technology is changing, we're gonna recognize the fact that the people have a right to see, and we're gonna empower citizens throughout our communities to hold us accountable. There's about 3,962 local governments and school districts throughout the state of Ohio. Uh, and so you might be wondering, how, what, what's it gonna take to get to all 4,000 or so local governments? There's a tipping point. We're not exactly sure what that tipping point is, uh, but there is a tipping point. And once we reach that tipping point, whether it's 1,000 local governments or 1,500, it's gonna start to get hot in the kitchen for uh, some of the other local governments that are dragging their feet. Because what happens over time is that citizens start showing up at the city council meetings and school board meetings, and they start asking the public officials there, hey, wait a second, this town next door, this school district next door, this county next door, they volunteered to put their finances online. Why not you? And I'll tell you a quick story of where that just happened. About three weeks ago, in Summit County, the Cuyahoga Falls School District voted three to two to reject OhioCheckbook.com. They said, we don't want to do this. The people don't have a right to see, them, see the money. We're going to reject it. We're not going to participate here. They voted it down. So I said to my staff, you know, have these school board members heard from the citizens? Have they heard from the taxpayers? And over the next few weeks, there were citizens that wrote letters to the editor, called their school board members, called the superintendent, showed up at school board meetings. Three weeks later, last week, the Cuyahoga Falls School District revisited this and voted four to one <laughs> to participate in OhioCheckbook.com. In my mind, that's an illustration of power to the people. It's an illustration of what happens when everyday taxpayers show up and have their voice heard. This isn't a new idea. OhioCheckbook.com is not a new idea. It's actually been around for over 200 years. This concept of citizens showing up at public meetings, having their voice heard, and shifting where the public officials stand on issues, changing their mind, impacting public policy. And all we're doing here is using modern day technology to advance a tradition that's been around in our country for over 200 years. What I've said to a lot of these mayors and city councilmen and county officials and school board members is that they have a choice. Do they want to be blockbuster video or do they want to be Netflix? <laughs> do they want to be taxi cabs or do they want to be Uber? 
Because the reality is technology is changing so quick, it's shifting beneath the feet of the public officials. And the choice they all have is whether or not they want to be part of the past or part of the future. And I'm proud to stand up here with public officials in this room today that have chosen to be part of the future. Uh, let me uh, <clears throat> introduce our first speaker here for the day. And